Hello friends and welcome back to another Pokemon guide here on the channel. My name is Lee, also known as Osiris, and in today's guide, I'm going to show you how to get Regigigas in the Crown Tundra. So we've already covered in previous guides how to get all of the other Regis in the Crown Tundra. If you want to check those out and see where the temples are located and how to get inside those, then click the link above and it will take you to a little playlist with those Reggie guides in it. And this one will be joining it because Regigigas is obviously the final the major the big the king of the reggies and it's the only one that we haven't covered so far so i thought it was quite fitting that we actually complete this so we're starting out as always in front of peony's hut and uh, this time we can actually fly to one location which is the snowslide slope but in case you do not have uh, the marker set for that what i'm going to do in this guide is just show you how to get there and create the marker because it would be useful not all of you are going to have spoken to the what trader to actually get the uh, the fly uh, marker there so you can quickly fly to that spot so to get that and get on with this little guide i will show you how to do it so once you've left peony's house just follow where i'm going you take a swift left and then you want to come out into the giant's bed now what we want to be doing is going past the cemetery uh we want to go just before the old cemetery i should say so we'll be coming to that in just a minute you want to just head down the middle up until that point and try and avoid all of these pokemon now this is the old cemetery here okay and you want to take a left up towards this point and you want to be heading towards is it the snow sleep stops or something like that i don't know where we're going a nice little jolty on there in the wild okay didn't realize Jolteon could spawn. So to set the marker, what you need to do is just head up this direction towards the snow caps and you want to come to snow slide slope. That's the one. Here is some sort of tongue twister. So this what trader, all you want to do is just speak to him. And once you spoke to him, um, it will set a fly marker for you to be able to fly to this point. So this is our starting point on the map. It does say we're there, but it will always say there. This is the fly point where we'll be going to. This is the one that you need to start at. Okay, friends, once you've checked off this fly point with this NPC trader here, you can just turn around and head back towards uh, Freezington Village and you will come across this raid den here. It's inactive, but there are four stones around it. So that's the indicator. Um, when you go up to the raid den, doesn't seem to be anything in the den so the prerequisites like what you need to be able to activate this den is all five reggies now you are obviously going to have a little bit of an issue if you've only got one copy of sword and shield and you're only going to be able to get either reggie Alecki or reggie drago um so i'm quite fortunate in a way and it helps me to do this guide i have a copy of pokemon shield which i've literally just sat at like half past one in the morning <laughs> and grinding through to get reggie alecki which has meant that i can be able to do this guide for you so you're gonna need all five reggies to actually activate this den otherwise like i will i'll just i'll just do it for demonstration purposes if you go with the four reggies that you can get in your game you are going to just click it and it's not going to do anything. But if you have that final Reggie, so maybe you have a friend that you can borrow one off or just someone online that would trade you it and then you can trade them it back. Uh, the other thing is to maybe, if you really want Reggie Gigas super badly, you can look on the GTS. There's a bunch on there now, but they're all asking for uh, Calyrex and things like that and Spectre and uh, Glastria and things that are quite valuable to you and you're only going to get one of in the game. So... If you want to go down that route, that is an option and maybe trade back for what you traded in the first place later on. But once you've got all five Reggies, this is how you get Reggie Gigas. You can click the den. You don't need a wishing piece. There seems to be a faint glow coming from the den. Do you want to check it out? Of course we do. And then it is a very rare beam and you don't get a chance to save or anything like that you just go straight into the den so i would imagine if you defeat the reggie you'll get the chance to to activate the den again if you catch it i think that will be it for 
the den and um, so it's worth maybe saving before you go into it especially if you want to shiny hunt this den i don't know if it's going to be possible to shiny hunt regigigas it wasn't in the shiny locked pokemon list so i'd imagine it will be but it doesn't appear as though you're going to be able to kind of do anything with like a sea check or anything like that to manipulate the den to make it a bit easier so we will max with a calyrex and we'll go for it but that wraps up the guide i didn't really want to make it super long for you guys um but i obviously wanted to make this guide and let you guys know about how you can get regigigas in the game it is available it's just a little difficult because pokemon have made it tough for us because they're only giving us one of the the new reggies per game which makes it very difficult when you do need both to get this rare pokemon but it just makes it even more rare for the way that we have to go about getting it i guess so all of you out there that do want regigigas good luck in getting it good luck in catching it and uh, good luck in acquiring another reggie if you've only got one copy of sword or shields okay now friends I know I said I was going to end the video before we caught it, but I've actually finished it. I want to see what the, the, uh, the catch rate is on this Regigigas. Have I got a specialish ball to catch it in? I don't think I've got anything super special, uh, but we'll go for a Premier Ball. That'd be quite nice to get it in. And Premier Balls have probably one of the lowest catch rates, so it'll be interesting to see what the catch rate is like. If we manage to get it with this, you can pretty much bank on that it's going to have a guaranteed catch rate a bit like the dynamax adventures but we'll soon find out we get one roll two rolls i think we're probably looking at a guaranteed catch rate in this den and i would go as far as 99.9 percent .9 chance confirm that you are going to be able to catch it in whatever ball you would like so for those of you that will be hunting Reg regigigas in future just keep that in mind you can get yourself a beast ball or one of the rarer balls sport ball safari ball and catch regigigas in one of those so we will add it to the party so we can have a, a quick look at it and then we will wrap up the video for all of you because I think I'm done. I need to go to bed. I feel like after grinding for the, the Reggie Alecki right now, <laughs> it's taken a while. But there we go. Full Dynamax level as well. And what have we got? Modest. Probably not the best, but we can we can mint that, so that's fine. And there is our Reggie Gigas. I'm super happy. It's one of my favorite Reggies of all time, and uh, looking forward to taking it out and having some battles with it. So there we go. I'm gonna wrap it up. Thank you so much for tuning in. As always, thank you. Leave a like if you have enjoyed this and found it useful, and do consider subscribing to the channel if you are new for more of this sort of content and other content of other Pokemon content on the channel. And uh, do leave your comments down below. Let me know which one of the Reggies is your favorite since we've kind of complete the Reggie guides right now for you all. Uh, have a great rest of your day and I will catch you all in the next video very soon. So until then, take care and bye-bye.